and I wanted to see uh, <clears throat> what kind of abuse shop manuals could handle. So here's the story on the shop manuals. I'm a shop manual kind of a guy. I like shop manuals. This one right here, it um, was open, opened like you see it right here, in the shop. Close the door on the shop, in the heat, and the binding let go. No big deal. I mean, you know, <clears throat> used to old documents not being really that, that, that well together. It doesn't bother me that the binding uh, is loose and let go. Um, it's like, you know, you wouldn't lose a, a 916 socket on purpose. You know, you don't lose a page out of one of these shop manuals on purpose. You be responsible and you, you know, you take care of it. So it doesn't matter that this happened. It's no big deal. Used to that kind of thing anyway. This one was not open. It was in the same shop as this one. It just, you know, subjected to the same heat. It binding didn't let go. It bent a little bit. It's kind of pad swampy, but that's because of the other books, the way it was on the shelf uh, in the automotive library, the way it was, it got tweaked. Now, I bought this manual, these two right here. This, it's a two set manual. You get both of them for about 85 bucks, okay? So I needed <clears throat> some electrical schematics because when you shut the uh, tailgate on my Suburban, it um, you're supposed to be able to, you know, flick a switch and the, and, the, and the glass will go up. Well, I was having problems with that and until that switch, which I've never been able to locate, I believe that it's on the power window glass motor. Is where it's what's happening with it and it was just it's just intermittent problem it was pissing me off you know so I bought this thinking full well and expecting full well that there would be schematics in it and guess what not one schematic in both volumes so there I am wanting and expecting yeah and I never got it but you know it was a shop manual so I figured no big deal well the other day I'm looking on the internet and uh, they're saying they got a shop manual with a fold out schematic electrical schematic fold out it's about six pages I went isn't that cool and I had no idea that th these would be the same actually this is this one's numbered and by the looks of them, you know, they're, they're GM factory manuals. That's the shop manual. So I went ahead and spent another 88 bucks because this is what I needed. And it came, and there it is. I'm not worried about it. Shop manuals, you know, you can always sell them. It doesn't matter if they're in shape like this. It doesn't matter. If the person buying the vehicle appreciates having a shop manual some guys really go goofy over that you know but uh just thousands of things of information in there that you'd never you know you, you ever gone online and tried to look at something yeah you know, they give you all these pictures and you blow them up and you, <laughs> you can't see nothing you don't know where it's going oh man anyway i guess they try but it's sure a piss poor job so anyway, here it is right in front of me. But <clears throat> So I got all the information in this volume and this volume, or in this volume and this volume, which I already had, but I didn't have the electrical schematics. And uh, you kind of need that. You know, I was just trying to track something down, and it's supposed to be a certain way. It's nice to know the color of the wire you're chasing and uh, where it goes and uh, what it's connected to and what it comes from the connection it comes from yeah very good information to have to track down troubles and I'm having troubles with that intermittent switch whatever it does it, it's not doing it and sometimes you can't get the window up and it 
just you know if it's if you're caught in a rainstorm or something you know, on a picnic and you're trying to get everything that i don't i don't want that so <clears throat> i don't want to get showered on you know i want everything to work right it doesn't matter that it's an 85 it, i can make it work right if i have the schematics that tells me what the electrical connections go and where they come from and or, you know like that so um it is a rebuy however i got what i needed and these are factory schematics i know you're probably saying well why didn't you just go down and get a haynes or a chilton uh, you know because i don't know why this is factory and i like factory so i did it and i did it because you never know when you're going to need some information that might that I feel might not be in a Chilton or a Haynes. So, if I don't need to know, I want to know, and I'm probably going to find it in the GM shop manual. That's a factory manual. Anyway, I got the second set, the new set, with the schematic in it from the Motor Bookstore, 870 North Dorothy. Like the girl's name, Dorothy. North Dorothy Drive, Suite 700, Richardson, Texas. Zip code 75081. Phone number 214-385-4890. Website, themotorbookstore.com. You need some factory manuals? That may be the place to hit. I don't know where I got the first ones. I don't think it was in Richardson, Texas. I would have remembered that. But at any rate, uh, if you have shop manual needs, you might want to just invest in a set and call the Motor Bookstore. <laughs>